Once the ultimate evil had escaped from the depths, still fettered to the throne, it traveled to wreak terrible vengeance on those who had done this, heavily supported by its little snots. The first target was Paladin Robert, now King of the Alliance. He had withdrawn to the quiet surroundings of his hunting lodge. There, he would be the perfect victim. Hey guys, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dungeons 2. Now, last we left off, we uh, kicked the lion's butt, but got ourselves trapped in return. And also, we started our first step in coming back, you know, to reclaim our glory. And in today's episode, King Robert has to die. And I believe this is the level that introduced me introduces me to the goblins. I was gonna say gremlins, but... Oh, okay. I, For some reason, I thought it was like a goblin with a Justin Bieber hair. Like an old Justin Bieber hairstyle. I think, I think it... I think what they're going for is like some kind of a helmet, but from a distance it looks like uh, Justin, Justin Bieber's old hairstyle. Okay, whatever. Let's go. According to scouts, King Robert spent most of his time strolling around his hunting lodge garden reciting poetry. Soon his poetry would turn into mournful ballads. The vengeful evil thirsted to defeat the Alliance's king and mount his head on the wall as a trophy. Whoops, of course, I really mean that he wanted to take all of King Robert's cookies away. Better play it safe, or the age classification folks will be after me. Before that, however, the ultimate evil had to do a bit of work on the dungeon. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to fund even a small army made up of a few orcs. Okay, now... First things first, I want this portion out. Aha, uh -huh. so this is the... Uh... See, I want this portion, this portion, this portion, and here. Make this into a... Uh... Come on. Okay, moving. Uh, turn this off first. Do I only have three snots? What the hell? Get a pop on here. Now, if you want to, you can actually, uh... If you want to, you can actually help pick up the gold that they mined. Just to speed up the process. Okay, come on. Move it. And also, I believe I want a, uh something here. Horde wise I want here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Here and then Uh no need for two big, just this one. Come on, move it. And let's start with the treasury here. The first treasury was completed. Soon, Greedy Evil's little snots would fill it with gold. You know the golden rule, right? Whoever has the gold, takes the rules. And brewery, oh yeah, I need a brewery. Ah, this should be good. Come on, move it! Okay, finally. I... I'm gonna leave this room uh, for the now. The strategy guidebook, Dungeons for Dummies, Says, <clears throat> Mountains don't always just consist of rocks and stone, but may also include natural as well as artificial caves and rooms. The first brewery was completed. Thank you. Soon beer would be flowing like a river, and an Oktoberfest atmosphere would pervade all. Would the ultimate evil put the beer baron out of business? Ugh, such a duff reference. Come on, start mining. Come on. I need gold. Okay, um... Come 
on, give me money. There we go. I need one more little knot. Just to get the entire operation going. Mine here. The ultimate evil should never forget to keep a watchful eye on its bear and gold storm. If its creatures can't help themselves whenever they need to, they will get angry fast. Okay, let's the get our first or. evil had hired the first orc. As ancient wisdom says, violence is a solution. Usually the only one. The ultimate evil slowly made itself cozy underground. Although this was a sensible decision, there was a large and lovely overworld out there, just waiting to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. It's payday. Okay, here is the other... Oh, wow. Okay, uh, make this into the other, um... The steady pounding in the rocks had given rise to overworld rumors of a new dungeon. A group of heroes set out to plunder its riches, and the ultimate evil was already looking forward to this visit. <laughs> so, damn it. Um... The orc. Another orc entered the service of the military-savvy evil. The Horde was growing and prospering. Come on, you little sock. Give me more beer. There are enemies in your dungeon. Oh, damn it. Um, I was too late. Okay, third orc. Really? Oh, where's the orc? You. You. Okay, uh, they are coming in here, so let's throw them in here. I believe in you. Or, or. The time to attack appeared to be right. All right. On the surface, in the tavern of a small, miserable village, some adventurers gathered. They were acquiring Dutch courage for their visit to the dungeon by downing several beers. Okay, good. The dungeon had to be destroyed. All right, more gold. You cancel these things first. I want you to dig out this base. Okay, this should be okay now. Let's see. Come on. You he isn't drinking. I want at least five more. Okay. Now. You five idiots. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Damn it. Um Come here. Come on. Come on, slaughter them. What a horn. Thank you. Uh oops. Okay, come get you all. And let's go to the old world. Um, yeah. Oops. Uh, over here. Okay. Come here. What is this? What? Who? The Mended Explorer. Lamgook. I believe that's how you spell it. Whatever. Okay, first of all, kill these dudes. Come on. Good, come on, again. Again, come on. Five orcs versus one villager. You can do it. Thank you. Now, destroy this one. 
And while they're doing that, come on. A delicious rumble announced the fact that the village's last house had crashed to the ground. Ha! There would be no more heroes meeting there to seek out the dungeon of the destruction hungry evil. Okay. The hunting lodge of King Robert lay in the north. It was there that the ultimate evil would finally get its long-awaited revenge. However, it looked pretty damn well guarded. Maybe it should first visit the cave to the west, inhabited by a clan of goblins, where the cunning evil could do a little negotiating. Okay, come on. Kill these guys, it's kill these guys first. Kill these guys first, come on. Alright, let's go. The goblin leader prostrated himself joyfully before the ultimate evil and immediately dispatched two goblins into its dungeon with a few plans for a new room, a tinkerer's cave. This was built as quickly as possible. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, let's do it here. What do I get here? The tinkerer's cave was built. It could, however, only be used as a warehouse as it lacked the workshop that the insidious evil's goblins needed. Quick as a flash, evil placed a creator mat in the Tinkerer's Cave. A sparkling new creator mat graced the Tinkerer's Cave of the expansion hungry evil. Ah, here's my goblin. A goblin would be able to work well in here, producing toolboxes. A few of these boxes would now be needed in order to invent a trap. The moody evil waited patiently. That is gonna be... Some time, I believe. Come on, how fast are you? Come on, oops, come on. Uh oh, okay. I believe it's. Yeah, this one. Is it? No. Efficiency, oh, okay. Let's see, what can I build? Loading treasure chest. And uh, my orcs. Orky, orky, orkies. Where the hell am I? Where the hell are you guys? Um. You know what? Let's get you back here first. Heal you guys up. As cowardly as the goblins were, their creativity more than made up for this. They proudly presented okay. the treacherous evil with their plan for a devious trap. With a silent evil cattle, oh. it quickly buckled down to setting the trap. Think first, uh, demolish, research new traps, improve rooms, faster healing, no. Um, do I want to do that? No. I don't think so. Uh, you know what? Just do another one. Let him have the fun. Okay, good. Oops. What? No. Uh, let's see. Trap, 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 traps. Take a see. No. What am I supposed to do here? Traps. Here we go. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of beer. Come on. Move it. Move it, you idiot. Come on. I'm such a bad person, am I? But again, it feels good, so... Job done! The trap was finished and ready to be found by a hero. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun! Just at that moment, a particularly powerful dwarf warrior appeared in the dungeon. How had he suddenly arrived at this precise time was indeed most odd. But his presence was more than welcome. He was going to be a guinea pig for the trap. Oh, let me see this. Let me take a look at this. He 
Even this strong dwarf Ooh. warrior didn't stand a chance against the treacherous okay, traps I believe and I have to powerful monsters them. of the invincible evil. He bit the dust. So much for a game of dwarves. <laughs> the dungeon's defenses were now clearly much improved, but the hunting lodge still remained well protected okay. and impregnable. I don't have to there was nothing that the place. ultimate evil I don't have to replace do. the trap. The task was impossible. So the evil withdrew bent and broken. Let feelings of revenge ever away, and instead took up looking after those cute, teeny weeny trees. What are they called again? Bonsai, yes, that's it. The end. Pretty unsatisfactory, huh? Of course, that wasn't the end. In reality, the indefatigable evil paid the goblin cave another little visit. The goblin leader would hopefully spit out something useful after a few more slaps. Uh, let's see. Do you know what? Let's bring two of you there, just in case. I don't want everybody... I don't want to, like, you know, have all my orcs on the overworld and instantly adventurous attack. With three, at the very least, I know... The expansion-driven evil couldn't wait to explore the further possibilities of the Tinkerer's Cave. In particular, a hospital seemed a useful way to cure its ailing units. Oops. It set about asking for this to be researched. See. What am I supposed to see? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. You idiots, move here. Move in here. Now throttle him. A few hard slaps were enough to motivate the leader of the goblins to help the ultimate evil. As it transpired, there was an old tunnel which had been previously used as an escape route. This connected the goblin cave with the vaults of the hunting lodge. The goblin leader voluntarily made a goblin assassin available to the hard-hitting evil to help infiltrate the lodge. The charitable evil had researched the hospital. This would enable its units to quickly recover from their injuries, once it had been built, that is. Okay, you know what? Both of you come back. A few creatures of the ultimate evil had lit a fire in the dungeon and begun to barbecue the smell of freshly roasted meat wafted through the underground. What do you mean? There's nothing here, you idiot. Oops. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just do it here. And, and then... Med base. Just do it like this. Come on, quickly now. Foster healing. Are you guys here? Damn it. Uh, adventurers are here. Adventurers were a really bad equipment. Enemies have Apparently. entered the dungeon. Ah, damn it. Uh, okay, get your butts out of here. Come on. Don't care about them. Just go in here. Okay, um... Where are the other... Enemies have entered the dungeon. Come on, here. Come on, move it! Okay. Where are the other orcs? Here. Damn it. Um, okay. Let's see other orcs. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um. No. Here. Caring evil had good-naturedly built a hospital for its suffering creatures. It, however, still lacked a hospital bed. 
Little Snots would then bring any units there that had been injured in the dungeon. The first hospital bed had been built. Wounded units could now be healed in the hospital. Little Snots would also be able to bring defeated creatures here so that they could be nursed back to health. Let's go. Damn it. PD, I guess. Yeah, it is. Come on. Move it. Okay, you're healing. Alright. For now, let's go to the overworld. Oh. Alright. Move it. The cheerful evil was pleased with this support. An assassin was a decent melee fighter, but its actual oh. strength lay in its ability to make itself invisible. This was, of course, tested out immediately. Move, stop. Where? Blind rage? No. How do I test it out again? Move, hold position. I'm confused. Experience points. Da, da, da. Unarmed. How do I make. Oh, here. Let's see, what do we got? You activate traps and doors. Invisible on self. Immunity traps. This and get the hell over here, please. It's payday. Despite the powerful invisibility skill, it was advisable for the ultimate evil to be cautious. Damn it. Some really? opponents had such highly trained observation skills that they were actually able to see okay. invisible units. A locked door prevented the assassin from progressing. It would have taken a long, long, long Damn it. time for him to have opened it with sheer brute force using weaponry. Thankfully, he had a suitable skill with which he could deactivate doors, and more importantly, traps. Okay, uh, open this one, please. Damn it. Oh, crap. And so the negligent evil promptly allowed the only really vital unit to this mission to die. The goblin leader sighed and put his second best assassin at evil's disposal. Okay, that's on me. That's on me. Uh, make yourself comfortable and get moving, please. There are enemies in your dungeon. Yeah, I figured. Um. Let's see, open this one. Okay, um, heal yourself. And let me deal with these guys first. Uh, get your butt out of there, please. Uh, you, 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 you. Let's go. Okay. Let's see, do I need really? Do I have to make another like trap? Yeah, I think I do. Let's make it three. Why not? Really? How many? Holy crap! There are enemies in your dungeon. Okay. Uh, you two. You. Uh. You and you, you, and uh, pull you guys here. Okay, come on, kill. Trap. No, 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 no. There's one trap here.
And another trap. Let's see. Three center here. Okay. And uh, here we go. Oops. Uh, hmm. Okay, move over here. The on the ball evil recognized that the warrior princess there was extremely powerful. The goblin assassin would be best advised to avoid any contact with her. Okay, uh, move over here. Let her run out here first. Okay. Oh, great, she's coming here. Oh, damn, damn. No, 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 no. Okay, just screw it. Just move. Oh. Invisible. And go. Ah, uh, sure. Ah, uh, just get out of here. A gobobot was being forced to make miserable repairs in the lodge. A brief feeling of what it thought might be sympathy passed through the sensitive evil, but this actually turned out to be a mighty belch. Naturally, it would free the useful gobobot anyway. Okay. Uh, open this up. Okay. Elated by the assassin's attempt at rescuing it, the Gobobot joined the horde and succeeded in showing its tormentors a real hot time. Its ability to more or less ignore range damage and set fire to large areas would come in very handy. Okay, get the hell out of here, please. No! Get back in there. There are enemies in your dungeon. Okay, now get out. Here, um, it should be okay, I believe. Oops. Payday! Okay, um, orcs, where are you guys? You, you. You, you. Oh, they're dead. Okay, uh, never mind. Oh, damn it. Wrong button. Okay. Uh, overworld. Okay, uh, you can do a lot of stuff. So, flamethrower. Use this first. Uh, goblin? You come here. Turn invisible. Come here. Kill this. Okay, get the hell out of here. Ow. Okay, just work on this one. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Screw you. I uh, just do this. Um. Okay. The, at the very least, it's getting repaired. Uh, no. Um, do I want to. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Get out of there. Okay. March out here. Move it, numbs goals.
Um, yeah, kill this camp. Yeah, in this early stage, the only tactic you got is just swarm them. So don't uh, expect some kind of fancy strategy. Well, don't expect them, period. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh, what the hell? Come on, destroy them. Okay. Uh, come over here and kill them. Yep, moving out here. The hunting lodge was completely destroyed. The vengeful okay. evil gave itself a very self-satisfied pat on the back. The time was right to concentrate on King Robert. He was in his renowned garden right. reciting his much less renowned love poems. The lyrically challenged evil had no time for poetry and would soon make this tangibly clear to him. Okay, come over here. And I kill them. Please. The king was accompanied by a pixie who was able to cast powerful healing magic. Any direct attack would be suicidal. Mercifully, the omniscient and helpful narrator was at hand. He pointed out to the impatient evil that the pixie went off from time to time in order to check that all was well, and much more importantly, eat her supper in a little camp to the south. Ah, here we go. So I have to go invisible and then kill her. Alright, uh, invisible. Move in. And the pixie under. buzzed over to eat her meal. Then the ultimate evil prepared an ambush. Yes, the annoying little pixie had the, spoken her uh, last healing spell. The crafty-minded evil sculpted a fan from her wings. Now it was time to look for King Robert and ensure his early demise. What? Oh, the fox is attacking. Who knows how to hit hard? Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Uh, let's go here. And attack him. Okay. And the ultimate evil had received its well-deserved revenge. But there were still many more heroes out there who deserved to bite the dust. Their time would come. Okay. Victory. And with that... The demigod Krotos, one of the sniveling cowards who had banished the ultimate evil, had just marched his Alliance army out of the Swamplands to fight the snake-like Nagas. The ultimate evil wanted to teach him the full futility of war by ensuring his untimely passing. Besides, the Nagas could prove to be valuable allies. Ah uh, yes, the Nagas, the healers of this game. But they'll have to do they'll have to join my horde on the next episode. Because this is where I'm gonna end it off. Thank you all for watching. And well, what can I say? King Robert, well, he read his last poetry. Thank you all, for, as I said, thank you all for watching, and see you guys next time. Ciao.